Christmas is slowly approaching upon us. It's only a couple days away. By the time this video is uploaded, it's probably gonna be like two days away. Uh, so here's some good last minute gift ideas uh, for that 90s kid in her life who's in their 30s and might need therapy. So here are 10 gift ideas under 35 bucks for that 90s kid in your life. So starting off, we have the Game Boy Alarm Clock. So this is about 20 bucks. You can get it from Walmart. I've seen it on Amazon as well. And it's exactly what it is. It's an original DMG style Game Boy, but it's also an alarm clock. 20 bucks. I, th I saw it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I actually might order myself one of those. Uh, yeah, it looks cool. Uh, especially if they're really into like retro gaming, that also kind of helps. But if they're like, yo, I love the 90s, Get them this, it's a cool idea. Game Boys, original ones, you know, if you order them on like eBay or something. Uh, they, they can be somewhat expensive. They might not be working correctly. Uh, so this gives them that little piece of nostalgia that they could have at work or on their desk. And be like, oh, that's awesome. It's a Game Boy alarm clock. It's a clock, it's cool. It's only 20 bucks, not too bad. Coming in, at number two, we have some graphic tees, a thing I absolutely love. Uh, there's two different sites that I actually recommend getting graphic tees, whether it's you know, 90s or just pop culture related, and that's LookHuman and 80stees.com. Uh, they can be somewhat expensive. LookHuman uh, also has some like meme-ish, meme-like shirts as well. Uh, a while ago, I actually had a shirt that had Carlton. Uh, on it from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and said Thug Life. Uh, it was high quality. Uh, it did shrink on me, so definitely uh, be careful when it comes to that. Uh, ADC has some really good stuff as well. Uh, it can be somewhat expensive, especially if you're going for hoodies. Uh, they can be a little bit expensive. But you can find some cool shirts for under 35 bucks. Uh, some of them you can get for like 15 also, with Look Human, uh, they also have other things. You can get stickers, phone cases, pillows, all that type of stuff. It's a site that I personally like. Uh, it's a little more adult-oriented. Uh, but yeah, it has a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I definitely recommend getting something like that. Now, we all know I am a big Nickelodeon fan. And I actually saw these at Target while I was out Christmas shopping. I was like, oh, that'd be a good idea to get somebody if they enjoyed the 90s. And that's actually what kind of sparked uh, this whole video idea. And that's going to be 90s Nickelodeon Mad Libs and 90s Nickelodeon Coloring Books. So I'll have them, again, I'm going to have everything linked down below. Uh, but Mad Libs is pretty awesome. And then it was, I think, Coloring the 90s, it was Nickelodeon. Uh, which is cool. Like if, I mean, I personally enjoy coloring and drawing and stuff like that. So it's a good way to uh, de-stress. So yeah, and they're cheap. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all under 20 bucks. So you can even get two. So pretty cool. Again, I'll have them linked down below. Uh, I found them at Target. I'm sure they're at like Walmart and other places. Uh, Amazon too. Uh, but I'm sure if you walk into a Target, you could probably find them. So I don't know about you guys, but I love board games. I love games. I love trivia. I love Jeopardy. Uh, Double Dare, there's that trivia section to it. Uh, so anything trivia, I enjoy. Especially if it's 90s, like hella 90s. It's a trivia card game, and it's a lot of fun. I actually have two copies of it. Uh, I think I got one for myself, then someone actually got me one for Christmas a couple years ago. Uh, it's super fun. It can be challenging, because it's not just pop culture. Uh, it also has, I believe, uh, like historical stuff that kind of happened, uh, which is cool. So you definitely need a deep understanding of the 90s. Uh, but your average 90s kid, uh, you know, can definitely play it. It's really fun. Uh, there's music parts. You can, like, hum and sing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, it's super fun. And again, it's cheap. I think it's, like, 10 or 15 bucks, uh, which is not bad whatsoever. Speaking of uh, trivia games, next up is Guess the Tune 90s. So this is a music trivia game. Uh, again, it has cards, and you have to basically guess what the song is. My light died. Uh, but yeah, it's super fun. Um, I've played it before at one of my friend's houses. 
Uh, it was in the 90s one, but basically there's like a dice, there's trivia cards, and you basically, the whole point is to guess the song name. Um, and I believe the artist too. Uh, it's been a little while since I played it. Uh, but it's cheap. It's like 10 bucks. So if you like trivia games, especially if you like music, that's definitely a good one to get. Now, if you want something truly nostalgic, especially for a 90s kid, get a Tamagotchi, which they still make, and you can still buy them. They're about 20 bucks. Uh, you can go to Target, Walmart, online. They're 20 bucks. Tamagotchis are one of those things I have had quite a few of. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a virtual pet, and the whole point of it is to make the pet survive. The pet can die. Um, that's just kind of how it is. And then you basically restart. So it's super fun. It goes on your keychain. It's something cool that they can just kind of fiddle around with. Uh, they put it on their keys, their lanyard, if they're like at work or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, super fun. And it's only 20 bucks. And there's also different colors. Uh, so you can really, you know, pick one that kind of goes with their personality. Or if they like a certain color, get them that certain color. Pretty dope. So as you guys know, I'm a huge 90s Nickelodeon fan. Out of all the channels, that's kind of my most nostalgic. Some of my favorite cartoons, my favorite game shows are on that. It's just super nostalgic for me. Uh, you know, yeah, you Kid and Kel, yeah, Doug, you have um, Rocko's Modern Life and Stimpy, all that stuff. There's a really good documentary on what's called The Orange Years, and that's actually what it's called. Uh, you can watch this on like Tubi and Hulu, but as somebody who's a big fan of physical media, they actually have it on DVD, which I totally ordered uh, for myself, and it's only like 20 bucks, and it's called The Orange Years. You get it at FYE, which is still a place, which also has some pretty cool things, has some anime stuff, some pop culture stuff, so you might be able to find some cool things on there. Uh, but yeah, The Orange Years is super, super good, especially if you love 90s Nickelodeon. This is like the perfect documentary for you. Like, it's awesome. It has castmates, or uh, the stars from Nickelodeon, uh, you know, during the interview. Uh, they talk about the very beginning of Nickelodeon, and then basically all the way up until one of the main CEOs left, and how things just kind of changed. It's really good. There's some parts that will make you tear up, at least make me tear up. It's just heartwarming. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Recommend it. Uh, I do plan on doing a review of this as well within the next like, month or two. So keep an eye out for that. But the Orange Years DVD, definitely recommend. And like I said, it's cheap. Now, if the 90s kid in your life has a game room or just a dedicated... <laughs> or just a dedicated area for their games or they want something a little bit nerdy, uh, get them some NES game coasters. These are relatively cheap, I believe like 15 bucks, and there's a whole slew of games uh, that you can use. If you don't know what a coaster is, it's the thing that you put under your drink. This way you don't get water stains on your table. Use them, people. Use them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. It would make them a really good uh, stocking stuffer as well. And yeah, like I said, they're they're cheap and it's cool. Like I said, especially if they're you know trying to relive that childhood instead of going out and buying the games, which I mean that'd be ideal totally different. But if they have like a nostalgic connection for NES games or if they like Mario and Metroid, stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I mentioned that Tamagotchis came back. Something else that's also come back are the tiger handhelds. Now these, I've only had a few of in my life. Uh, I didn't have a lot, but I thought they were pretty cool. And like I said, they remade them, so you definitely can go buy them. They're on Amazon, I've seen them at Target, GameStop. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's just something, maybe they had a certain one, um, like an X-Men one or something like that when they were younger. I'm pretty sure if they still make the X-Men one, you can buy that be like, hey, look what I got you. Uh, they're relatively cheap, I think like 20 bucks if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, uh, but I know they're under that $35 mark. And yeah, I mean, they're cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be like, you know, playing a Switch or a Game Boy. Because uh, these were kind of, the technology for it was kind of not 
the best. I mean, it's cool. Uh, but it's just something cool and nostalgic that you'd be like, yo, I have one of these. Play it for a little bit. Every once in a while, you can just come back to. And like I said, it's cool. It's nostalgic. Last up on this list is the Magic Eye 25th Anniversary Collection. This, if you don't know what Magic Eye is, is an amazing book series. Uh, there's quite a few of them. Uh, I have Magic Eye 1 and 3, I believe. Basically, it's a book that has these weird pictures in it, and you kind of hold the book like this, and you have to make your eyes go cross-eyed because it'll give you the illusion of a 3D image, like something is hidden in that image, it could be a ball, it could be uh, flowers, it could be people, but you have to look at this pattern a certain way to get um, to get the actual image, uh, and it makes it look 3D. It's super awesome. The 25th anniversary edition uh, has some extra ones. I believe it's uh, basically all the books combined plus some extra stuff. Magic Eye was huge in the 90s. If you guys have never used one by yourself at least this and your mind's gonna be like whoa this is this is awesome it's something i personally love like i said i have a few of them and believe it or not i, I use them all the time just be like yo this is so sick uh yeah so it, it's awesome like i said it's cheap it's under 35 bucks definitely definitely recommend that but that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if there's anything uh, that you can recommend to other people that's under 35 bucks to get those 90s kids out there. Like I said, therapy would be nice as well. But that's more than 35 bucks. Unless you know somebody. In that case, hook a brother up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's gonna do it. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas, fantastic holidays. Uh, my next video won't be until after New Year's, so, uh, you know, enjoy my content if you need some Christmas 90s, 90s Christmas nostalgia, uh, check out the video at the end. You guys rock, stay rad, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.